Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Metro Arms American Classic 1911. It's imported by TriStar. It's a beautiful looking 1911, but this is a bit different because it is chambered in 38 Super. Why 38 Super? Well, it's a different caliber that I've never really experienced before. It's very popular in Latin America. It goes a little bit shorter than the 38 Special. It's 130 grain plus P load, at least that's what I was shooting, that went for 41 bucks a box of 50. Full metal jacket, and it is loud, very loud. Popular in Latin America, primarily Mexico, they, they love 38 Super. They have to have a round that is the size or smaller than 380 ACP, and that is why 38 Super is a fan favorite in Mexico. But I never checked it out before, but let's take a look at this handgun. It's called American Classic. Why is it an American Classic? Well, it's very much a mil-spec 1911. And yet it has some modern features, so let's talk about it. The sights, the sights from that perspective look mil spec, but when you go like this, you can see they're three dot. So if you take those dots away, those are mil spec sights. The beaver tail is short, that's mil spec. The thumb safety and the spurred hammer, that's mil spec. The GI style guide rod and the way the internals look, and here's a look at the American Classic disassembled. You can see that that too is mil spec. The way the magazine sits in the grip there, that's mil spec. Although this is a nine round magazine chambered in 32 Super. And if you go with this, it will ship with one Mechgar nine round magazine. The parts that make it not mil spec, but yet a little more traditional is it has a flat mainspring housing with vertical serrations it is a stainless steel handgun with a hard chrome finish and on the sides or the flats it is highly polished okay right there on the frame the sides of the slide the top strap is matte all the rounds are matte matte finish little silverish there looks super cool and it's a 1911, so what is not to love about this? The thumb safety is also mil spec, and it's only on the left side of the pistol, as well as the slide serrations mil spec. But outside of that, it's a regular 1911. And that's what I wanted, and I wanted it in 38 Super. Now, if you look at the trigger that Metro Arms created, it has some texturing on the trigger face and it is skeletonized and that's certainly not mil spec but it is pretty cool you're looking at about a four and a half whoa and and that's one other thing this this without the forward serrations the recoil spring is a bit heavier and i think i know why and that is because i love that reset and that's because the 38 super is a pretty tough round a lot of people compete with it. They, they love the round. People that know 38 Super, they, they really seem to enjoy it a lot. Americans compete with it. Latin Americans, they like to carry it. This was made, or the 38 Super was made for the M1911. It was produced around the 1920s, and it has grown from there. I wouldn't say it's a very popular round in the U.S. by any means, but it is in other parts of the world. This grip is well it has the logo there it's it's a wood grip with some scallop like texturing if i keep this handgun which i'm planning on i'll go with g10 grips and right out of the case it shot pretty well if you go with this you'll get this case right here the msrp is 825 for the hard chrome finish model if you go with the blue it's seven about uh, 730 I believe, yeah, it's about a hundred bucks less. But it goes with this case, not much to show. It comes with one mag, paperwork, lock, everything else that we know about. But when I shot this, I thought it would be a light shooting round and I wouldn't say it had a heavy recoil, but it shot very well. Now, the first mag gave me a couple problems with the first couple rounds. Ooh, felt that. Didn't go forward. Go 
forward. That time it did. But after that, it fed, fired, and injected everything for the rest of the range day. Now, I didn't put a lot of rounds through it, but I did put that whole box through, and it performed very well. It's a good-looking 1911. It shot well after the first mag. So if that's all the break-in period is, one mag, I'm, I'm good with that. The ammo that I'm shooting is this Aguila 38 Super Plus P. It's 130 grains, full metal jacket, and it is very loud. It goes about 41 bucks a box. If I were to get the Remington, same thing, 130 grain plus P38 Super, it would cost around 48 bucks a box. So I went with the Aguila. The Metro Arms American Classic is a 70s series, so it doesn't have that trigger safety plunger in there and a lot of people find that advantageous compared to the 80s series but it certainly shoots nice after that first mag i have no complaints with it i was shooting from 14 yards and was able to hit my targets fairly well i think the more i shot this the better i got but i enjoyed the handgun and i enjoyed the round and i think that albeit a bit pricey of a box of 50 like 41 dollars is is a bit expensive but i i did like it I, I i was surprised by it i was expecting something along the lines of 38 special you know like in a revolver now the, the 38 super is a semi-rimmed round it's not a full rim like the 38 special and the 357 magnum but it certainly was loud and it travels fast over 1250 feet per second so it's a viable round they love it in latin america competitors love it and i have some more practice to do with it because i'm digging this 1911 i love trying things that are new and i got this from this TriStar Import made by Met Metro Arms. It's an American classic, partial mil spec, partial modern features, all in all a good looking handgun. So there it is. Perhaps I'll do some chronographing with the 38 Super and see how fast it's actually traveling at my range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.